Welcome to episode 67 of Let's Play The Sims 2. Alright, already there's a ton of stuff going on in the house. Here's Mike and his exercise machine. Lucy is chatting up Puck. Amanda is chatting up Amar. And Laura has just arrived home, happy in her promotion. So, Sue is here to give her mom a big hug. How very nice. Now since there's so much going on, it's best to pause them to give commands. I think that's always a very good thing to do in The Sims, especially when you have more than um, more than a couple people. And since we have five, it's pretty important to do that. Stargazing will give Laura some aspiration points, plus we'll put her on the road to an, another promotion in the future. So we're going to have Amanda talk more to Amar. And we're going to see what happens with Lucy. And now, if you don't remember, back in episode 65, I set Lucy on course to um, go steady with Puck, if he is so willing. So, give that a try. And it looks like the flirting is going well for, or not going well for Amanda. Looks like they're having trouble, but she's persistent, so she's going to try again. But meanwhile, there go Lucy and Puck making out with each other. And up here, we're going to have Mike take a break. Yes, we have to watch all of them at once which is kind of hard because they're all in different places. And Mike is one stinky guy, and apparently he de either doesn't notice or doesn't care that his daughter is making out with this weird-looking guy over here. But here she goes. She asks him. And he said yes. Now it's official. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. And to celebrate, they make out again. And look at those red hearts. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Not sure what Amara is doing there. I guess he's tired of talking to Amanda. <laughs> so, Amanda's going to come over and try her old tricks again. Maybe this time it will have some benefit. Um, seems to be going all right so far. As Lucy and Puck sit down to watch TV with that other girl, I forget her name. I think her name is Carly. Meanwhile, Sue is playing with toys over there. So, see if Amar accepts this kiss. Should be any moment now. Well, there comes Laura to do her stargazing. Mm -hmm. oh, apparently it's a boring conversation. And, oh, ah, oh, crap, Amar said no. Even though he showed signs of being attracted to Amanda. Oh, isn't that too bad? Well, she can at least try one more shot at flirting. Amanda doesn't give up easily. So we'll try a different one, a different kind of flirting. I hope that didn't work either. Now Amanda's mad, and she's going to shoo him. That's right. You get out of here. Goodbye. See ya. All right, well... That's it for him, and she's going to hop in the shower. And then, I'm going to have her be the first one to test out the Lincoln family's very new swimming pool. Oh, Sue's already in bed. And Mike should be back down to exercise a bit more soon. Hey, it didn't occur to me until just now. 
But I wonder if the Lincolns drive a Lincoln. Maybe they do. Ah, uh, who knows. So, um, anyway, just let uh, Lucy uh, do her own thing for a bit. Oh, and apparently she got a cleaning point by cleaning a puddle up, which I guess is only a good thing. Now, in case you guys forget, it's less than two days, which Laura, uh, Mike and Laura will be becoming elders. So, it's quickly on the horizon for them. Alright, there goes Amanda in her blue swimsuit, ready to jump in. Alright, is she going to chicken out? Or is she going to go for it? Well, there she goes. Ooh, that looked painful. That was a belly flap, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes the symbols will get cold feet and they'll walk backwards off the diving board. But at least Amanda was able to go in. So Lucy's making a snack for herself. And seems like Amanda's enjoying that pool. And if you were watching, you would see that her fun meter has leaped. Leapt, I guess. So, since they're here, she's going to ask all these people to join her as well. To have a nice little swim party. Which pretty much consists of her shouting their name across the house, and they magically hear her. Or maybe she's really that loud, I don't know. And what, hey, why is Amara still there? I thought she kicked him out. Eh, oh well, no big deal. Uh, they, um, just climb down the ladders, that's kind of boring. Well, looks like Puck is going to go off the diving board. He looks nervous, I don't know, will he back up, or will he jump in? Ah, cannonball. Sweet. Now they're all swimming. Or they were. That was the world's shortest swim party, because everyone's already getting out. Except for Puck, who seems to like it in there. Oh, Mike, what are you doing? You're not an elder yet. You can't fall asleep in front of the TV like that. But he is pretty tired, and so we might as well send him off to bed. All right. Laura, your social is kind of low, so why don't you come and join your daughter and her friends over here at the TV? That way you can chat with them and make sure no hanky-panky is going on. Although, as I've previously said, it's actually impossible for sim teenagers to have sex in this game. I mean, I'm sure there are mods out there that people have created, but in the real game, you can't do it. Mm. Lucy and Puck really are getting along well. But, as it is, the day has to be wrapping up. They have to get a good amount of sleep for tomorrow. The last day of the weekend for the girls before going back to school. So anyway, they're going to bed, and soon everyone will be asleep. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for episode 68. So long.